And so, for instance, for dribbling, at stage one, where we actually show you the physical movements of dribbling, that would be where we introduce the topic of dribbling and how you're supposed to move from left to right and forward and back. And then from there, uh, that would be the training part of it. We would show actually how to do that and then train the player into it. And then we would challenge that player by maybe putting some restrictions on them, maybe putting some pressure on them in a specific way by maybe adding a player and then they can do a mirror image of each other and they're going left and right or forward and back. And then finally you would customize that specific topic to the player. Now they're a forward or they're a midfielder and they're going to work on, maybe if you're a midfielder you're going to go side to side a little bit more than if you're a forward where you're working on going forward and your explosive speed going forward. So that would be an example of the different ways that you would use these principles